All right, guys, part two, practice and application number 19. Molly made a circular braided rug to look like this. The radius of the rug is four feet. So we're looking at here, not the entire line, obviously, just the radius. So the radius is four feet. What's the circumference of the rug? So we're trying to find the measurement around this rug. So circumference, given the radius, we have our form handy dandy formula. C equals 2 times 3.14 times radius, which is 4 feet. Okay, well, we know that 2.3.14 reads at that is 6.28. So we're going to be doing 6.28 times 4. And that gives us 25.12 feet. FT means feet. That's our answer. 21. Mr. Byers is placing edging around a rectangular fish pond. The length of the fish pond is 10 feet and the width is 5 feet. If the edging costs $4.50 per foot, how much will Mr. Byers spend? Okay, two-step problem. So are we looking for a perimeter or a circumference here? Perimeter, very good. Perimeter of a rectangle. <laughs> rectangle. So that is P equals, sorry about that, 2 times L plus 2 times W. Okay. What's the length? 10 feet. And what's the width? 5 feet. Very good. 20 plus 10, 30. That's not it though. So that's how, that's the perimeter of the fish pond. And it costs $4.50 per foot. So what are we going to do next? Yeah, we're going to do 30 times $4.50. Okay. And that will give us hundred thirty five dollars oops sorry about that hundred thirty five dollars okay no one wants to know how far his bicycle wheel travels when it goes all the way around one time the wheel is 20 inches across so that's the diameter how far does his bicycle wheel travel in one turn so again we're trying to find the circumference okay circumference given the diameter so c equals pi times d so c equals 3.14 times 20 inches okay and that gives us 62.8 inches okay because if you just do six point, I mean, sorry, 3.14 times 2, which we did before, that gave us this number, right? And then we're adding that zero here. Okay, and then we add the decimal. That's why it's 62.8. All right, great job. I will see you in English class.